But I really want to study, I really want to study this whole thing of drinking, getting drunk, and, and people saying that they're having a good time. Because if you, if you put on a good suit, you put on a good suit or whatever, and you say, I'm going out to have a good time. But some people announce it. I'm going out because I deserve to go out. And I'm going to get drunk because I deserve to get drunk. And get out of my way. Now these people get up there and they drink and they drink and they drink. And the body begins to tell you. Please, you better slow down. So now you have a person who came in and they were walking like this. See, there's different kinds of walks for, for drunken people. Now, for instance, if you just have a regular old raggedy bourbon drunk, you know, they go like... <laughs> you know, and they're really trying to maintain. And the people keep leaning the room on them, you know. See, now you can get a gin drunk, gin and vodka, you know, martini. Now, these are the people very, you know, they have their own business. <laughs> and they just stop off uh, about six or seven. <laughs> and their fingers pickled because that's what they stare to drink up with. And they do a lot of this when they talk. <laughs> With the drinks, so you drink spurps on your shoe, you know. <laughs> and, you know, and you're looking at your shoe, you know. And they hum a lot when they say, well, how have you been? <laughs> so it's fine, you're yeah, nice to see your game. <laughs> oh, no, pardon me. You know, very smooth people, you know. So then, of course, the, the obvious one is uh, the winos. But see, winos, once they get down to where they cannot walk anymore, you know, they, they just kind of heel toe it, you know. <laughs> just kind of easy going to get it. Now, you have, like, since the country western thing has happened, you got all these people with the cowboy hats and a buckle. And <laughs> they just drink a lot of beer. And uh, see, there they are. See, and, there, and beer drinkers are really different people because they, something happens to their hearing. They go almost, they have everything. Hey! <laughs> All right! Now, they drink a lot of beer, and the beer does not go here. It goes in one leg. <laughs> and when that leg fills up, then they have to take it to the john, see? <laughs> and so when they walk, you know, they When, when they come out of the bathroom, then you can tell, see? So it's, it's empty now, you see. They step up to the bar and fill it back up. Now, when it gets so that, you know, it's like I say, I gotta go, hey! I've got to go again, oh! But this is always like this, always hanging out. And you keep doing like this and everything. Oh, no. Then they want to go ride this mechanical animal and fall and bust their face, you know. And, I rode the bull at Jilly's and bust my face, you know. A uh, picture of an idiot in action. <laughs> but now, the person who has dedicated themselves to going out and getting so drunk that they're going to get sick is all-time dumb person. They stand there, this drinking, drinking. Now... The body says, don't take another drink. <laughs> so 
So you reach up and you go in the stomach, say, messengers come down, he's taking another drink. See, All right, reverse gears. But just take it up to the top of the neck. <laughs> the stuff comes up to here. Sir. Now give him a small burp. Turn on the sweat machine. <laughs> now people say, are you all right? Of course I'm not okay. <laughs> now you've got to go. So you come into the bathroom. <laughs> close the door. <laughs> now don't forget, you owe this to yourself. You worked hard all week. It's come to this. Jesus. Oh God. If you get me out of this, I won't drink again as long as I live. Ah. Now you are ready to put your face in a place that was never built for your face. So... Now you feel it coming. All right, I'm ready. Holding on, holding on. Going for a ride, yes. Bring it out, yes. Here it comes on, we explode. And your muscles lock everything. And you wouldn't be surprised. You would not be surprised if you saw your shoes come out of your mouth. You say, yes! Now that wave has stopped. You say, oh. You put your head on the side of the bowl. And you thank the toilet bowl. Thank you, toilet bowl. Thank you so much for being cool on the side. Only you understand me, toilet bowl. You're the only friend I have. My wonderful toilet bowl. Now, people keep coming to the door. Are you all right? And he says, oh, yes. I'm always like this all the time. Just having a little picnic. Just listening to the toilet bowl. And that's called having a good time. <laughs> I never understand that. <laughs> I mean, it's all right if you're a teenager, you know, and you've never, you've never had and it, you've never had it before, you know, and you say, well, what is this all about? You know, you just keep drinking, get sick, and throw up. But just grown people do that on weekends. And then they come back to work, and they go, oh, God, my head. <laughs> yeah, strange. <laughs>